start it back up. Local recording is good. And we're back. To do some Almond. I'm not sure how he plays or what his attacks are, but... Um... Ammo? Reload? Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... Okay, whatever. This is like... Old-style arcade shooter now we got going here. He's probably still... I should have... Oh, I can't test that yet. Oops. He's probably still got the same shield thing. This is probably... I don't know what that blue bar is. Interesting. Interesting. No, I wouldn't have thought there'd be so much variety. He does not... He, he does not have any charge attacks at all. He doesn't have a shield. He just has a gun. Oh, he does have a shield. Oh, that's hilarious. Look at him go! Hold on. Look at how he moves. I don't know if you'll be able to tell this, but... There we go, that's better. Look at how he's moving. He's not crawling. He's, he's like, worming himself across the ground there. Okay, that's just weird. He cannot jump with the crab. Okay, so that that's the reload bullets available. Okay. I've played enough old-style shooters in my time to get used to this control scene here. If I can... How do I jump up there? Um... Hmm. Hmm. How do I get up here? I can't wall jump, apparently. So how do I... Am I stuck already? Did I break it? Hmm. Hmm. Does he have some ability I don't know about? What is... I don't understand. Hmm. Well. Hmm. I have no idea. Reload. There we go. I can't... I can't wall jump. I can't jump any higher than this. It won't let me go anywhere. Hmm. I appear to have broken it, or the game's not designed to be played at all with Almond. That may or may not be the case. I don't really know. Do you have any hidden buttons I could use? Crouch and shield. Jump. Hmm. Oh, wait, wait. No, don't end. Uh, no. Haha. Haha. -ha. <laughs> We're good to go now. We got this figured out. So he can't jump, but he can carry himself. This is just weird. This is about as weird a control scheme as you could possibly get. Can I carry myself again? Reload. This ammo system's interesting, at least. So you can only really shoot so often because of the reload counter there. Running this way. I like this. This is this is interesting. It's unique. It's like three games in one. I like the carry him thing. Look at him. Wee. Off we go. And that's what you read the controls for. Now we know. I've run out of ammo, so let me just reload a whole bunch. I could probably just let these people die from the bombs. No. Apparently not. Oops. Note to self, do not stand next to them, they will punch you in the face. I wonder if I can hurt stuff by... No, I can't, because I already did that. I was going to say, I wonder if I could hurt stuff by carrying myself around. That's so weird. Oh, don't hit me while I'm doing that. Lame. So weird. Let's turn into like a, a shooter point and click adventure thing hybrid that I've got going here. Oops. I really like that how they did the reload on that. Uh do I have to jump onto that or do I have to carry him? Okay. Okay. We got this. I wonder if he can... Oh, he can shoot while he's hanging on? Are you kidding me? This makes this way easier, although he's gonna run out of ammo. Yeah. Oops. 
I'll just stand on him, how about that? <laughs> Whatever floats my boat, I suppose. There we go. This is weird. Actually not doing too bad once I figured out the whole uh you have to carry him thing. Whee. I guess to compensate for him having a basically unlimited range attack, they gave him an ammo system, which makes sense to me, I suppose. Oops. I wish it regenerated a little bit faster, but I suppose you have to limit it somehow. Oops. Go, go. Oop. There we go. And the camera doesn't move when you carry him like that, so. You can't get me! Oh. <laughs> it's so weird, though. I wish the camera moved when you carried it. I don't even know how they implemented that, to be honest. There we go. This boss should be extremely easy, considering you don't even have to be anywhere near him. You can literally just hide in the corner and shoot him. Extremely easy boss is easy! Would you stop doing that and open up your hatch? There we go. You can't shoot while you're ducking, though. You also apparently can't reload while you're ducking, unless I just screwed that up. Do -do -do. I wonder how... how well his shield works, if I can block these... Uh, don't... Okay, that was close. I wonder if I can block these, uh, like the meteors or whatever he shoots out. Okay, you can reload while you die. Good news, can I block him? I can! <laughs> that seems kind of broken to me, but considering you have to play it twice to unlock him, I suppose that's good enough. And it's not like it's a multiplayer game anyway, where it needs a lot of balance. Needs enough to work. That boss was easy. He still has a walking animation in air. It's just really slow. He also kind of floats a little bit. That was a weird picture there. Hits taken eight, and I still only got a B. Are you kidding me? I don't even understand this crap. Do not even understand this crap. I've, this is like the fifth time I've played through so far, and I still don't understand the scoring system. I could probably look it up or ask the guy who made it or something, but Jesus. Oops. By the way, if you haven't caught on, you reload by going to the bottom of the screen. If you haven't caught on yet, you're a little slow there. I like how he doesn't even have... Oh, this part's gonna be a bit harder, because he doesn't have a dash attack. And he has limited ammo. Not a whole lot of limited ammo, I might add. At least he keeps charging when you're not in combat. That's nice. So you're not standing there with no ammo until you go fight something. Walk into it, there we go. This boss should be even easier than it was with Rilo, because, I mean, I can literally just sit over here. Not even in the same area as him. I wonder if he can attack over here. Yeah, he can. That's what I was wondering, if his little, uh, underground thing would, ha if it would work over there. So you do still have to dodge that. There we go. Reload by doing this! Right. Like his jump animation is so silly looking. May as well kill stuff while we're going there. It should make it really easy in that uh, Japanese theme level to hit the. See you, Freddy. To hit the, uh, whatever they're called things. Across. This makes this incredibly easy when I can just literally teleport myself over there essentially. Over here. Oh, we have to duck this one. There we go. Ta da! Alright. So he doesn't have a shield, but he, he can duck, so I suppose that makes up for it. 
the whole limited ammo thing is starting to get moderately irritating. Lol, infinite shield. Alright. I needed to record some stuff anyway, and I figured since people were asking me to do this and I felt like playing it, I may as well uh, record it. And since I have to use XSplit to record this because it's made, I don't remember what this is made in, it's not made with DirectX, is my point. I don't even need to use those stupid things. Um. Hmm. Um, how would I do this? Because I have to be Oh, that shield's got a huge range. Can I do this? I can. Sweet. Okay, so I can shield midair. Interesting. Look at me, I'm getting all pro with this and stuff here. Go, go, go. I'm getting good with this guy. I'm like speedrunning. Wait, can I do it while I... Oh, I can. Okay. This makes it even easier. Good god. I can shield while I carry him. Kind of ruins the difficulty of this part of the level, but, you know, whatever. It's his specialty, apparently, is floating and shielding himself. He's got some weird specialties. Camera up, camera up. And this guy is going to be equally irritating as he was last time. I really hate this boss with a passion. He takes so long, and it, you can't just, like, skill kill him. You have to press the stupid keys. I guess that would be skill killing him. Honey's on that side. Great. Can't get to that side, good sir. And that sword one, I've yet to actually dodge properly, I'm pretty sure. This one, where's he going? He's going this way. Ta-da! I wonder what special levels he'll have, or level. He'll probably have five, just like before. Just like, uh, Rilo did. I'm trying to remember all the freaking names. Considering he's not the main character of it, I imagine they won't give him the full seven. Screwed that up. Can I hit him? No, because I screwed up too much. And the shield will not block stuff like the swords or uh, the electricity on that or anything. It just blocks small projectiles. And once again, should be an easy boss fight with the range we got here. That reload. Especially since I know what I'm doing with these bosses, like nobody's business at this point. At this point, I actually know how to play. It's amazing, I know. My phone has low battery. That is also amazing, I know. And we got an A. Sweet. And here's the level I was talking about. Um, carry yourself. There we go. That... yeah, that won't be that. Okay. This, hop it over there, carry yourself. Can I just carry myself over it? Because that would make this better. Carry myself over those stupid swinging things, because I hate those. If you haven't caught on yet, I despise them. Can I? How? Nope. There's a block up there. Oops. Oh, lame. I hate those things. I'm going to continue hating those things. I don't even think you need to kill these guys, by the way. I think it's just a scripted event. Since I don't really have ammo for it, I'm just going to sit in the corner here for a little bit and reload. There we go. Just after so much time, they'll uh, swap out. Ooh, that was close. These guys is what I was talking about. Oh yeah, that makes it way better. Except then I'm going to run out of ammo. Yeah. I guess I could just shoot the one that's above me since there are two that spawn and they kind of wander randomly around. That one stomped above me, I kill it. Because I want nothing to do with these obnoxious things and that thing shot me last time too. Come on. There we go. Boss fight. Extremely easy boss fight since I can hit her all the time instead of just uh, that one small point right there. 
that was extremely easy. Alright, no. Oh my god, he's got like no jumping underwater. That's terrible. Ah, oh, it's hard to carry him too, good lord. Man, you are not good underwater, jeez. He can jump like two feet up, that's not helping at all. I still like how he moves across the ground. Inchworm! Inchworm. Would you stop throwing this thing, freaking cucumber thrower dudes? It's hilarious. Inchworm. Okay. Oops, that was close. Even easier fight with this guy. It should be super easy on the, uh, the wheel thing as well. Considering we have now even more range than previously. Oops, was not paying attention. There we go. Let me go. And then, uh, this freaking place, I hate this place. Especially now that we can't jump. It's going to slow me down and cause me to get hit by crap like that. Go, please. There we go. Seriously, this, this screen not moving when you carry him is kind of irritating, but fine. Not everything can be perfect. Especially for this size of a developer. I don't even, I don't even know how big this developer is, but I'm pretty sure they're small. Who do we fight here? Since we're all in, do we fight... Yeah, we fight Rilo again. Hello, Rilo. Which again, looks really cool, but should be super easy, except I can't... I forgot I can't jump very high. I'd have to carry him to dodge that attack, and I'm not good enough for that yet. But there we go. I got this now, I got this. Uh, and I screwed it up again. Great! Oop, there we go. What the heck did I just do here? I don't know, I hit, I hit something in X-Split and screwed up. How do I get rid of these? Because I can't spin jump. I just shoot them. I suppose that makes sense. Hit me, oh lame. Maybe this boss won't be terribly easier. Although the whole duck shield thing probably helps quite a bit for some of these bosses. In fact, it already has helped quite a bit for some of these bosses. There we go. Probably would have been doing way better if I was paying attention and hadn't gotten myself halfway dead standing in the water like an idiot. Always helps. And we gotta be. 